welcome back to my channel. This week, as promised, we're gonna make another cocktail with this uh, corn liqueur that I talked to you uh, at some length about last week. Um, so we're gonna be making kind of a riff on the margarita. I'm gonna call it the corn margarita. If you can think of a more imaginative name, then by all means drop it in the comments below. So for this, you're gonna need two ounces of Blanco tequila, one ounce of lime juice, Agave, nectar, now this varies depending on how sweet you like your drink, um, anywhere between half and an ounce of agave, and then an ounce of the corn liqueur. So this is gonna be a shaken drink, so I'm gonna just pop some ice in here, and then we will get measuring. So I was reading some recommendations online for, you know, switching up the, oops, threw that everywhere. Switching up the orange liqueur in uh, your typical margarita for this stuff. Wow, I am nearly out of tequila as well. Everything seems to be running out at the moment. Um, it's speaking of what you put in your margarita, um, when I was in Mexico, actually, in Mexico City, there is this liqueur called Damiana which comes in this great bottle, I'll have to show you at some time. It's kind of shaped like a, like a woman's body. Um, like somewhere between like a woman's body and Buddha, it's kind of in the middle there. Um, and it's orangey and kind of herbal at the same time. And I believe that in Mexico, that's um, sometimes used as a substitute for the orange liqueur in a margarita. So, you know, subbing out for something different isn't totally new. Now I'm gonna go for about half an ounce of agave. I don't like it too sweet. Also depends on like how acidic your limes are. Sometimes they're juicier and sweeter and sometimes they're just really mouth puckering. Okay. Now you can salt the rim of your glass if you want. I actually felt when I tried this drink that I preferred it just as it was. It is based on a margarita, but to me it is not the same animal anymore and I didn't really want to kind of pigeonhole it into that, she says, after having named it the corn margarita, which is just about as pigeonholing as you can get. But anyway, um, I chose not to salt it. You can salt it. You can also, you know, use some kind of a special flavoured salt if you have something particular that you like. Now, I have stabbed myself in the hand with the scissors when I was cutting my hair. So it's a little bit delicate. I haven't shaken any drinks since I did that. We're gonna see how that goes. Hopefully I don't end up doing what I did when I made that bourbon milk punch and throwing it all over myself. So I'm just gonna use my good hand to make sure that's firmly in there. And we're gonna shake this for about 15 to 20 seconds. All right, that's about as much gusto as I can give it today. I know that that must have looked like the most awkward shaking that you've ever seen. Now this is awkward too, because I just feel like this hand is kind of delicate right now. That's... There we go. Let that extra drain off into there. Get your strainer. And if you had very pithy lime juice, you can, of course, double strain. There she is, the non pigeonholed corn margarita. So, smells, smells actually uh, really reminds me of holidays. Um, my mum nearly always has a margarita, it's like her favourite cocktail. And yeah, wow, that is uh, the power of scent is very nostalgic for me. It just takes me completely to a different place. But anyway, enough about holidays that we can't go on. Um, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put my foot down and say do not use more than half an ounce of this. So I think if you do, it will just be too sweet. That is delicious. It's a really nice balance of... I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like a... The sweet, more caramelly tones of this come through. Works really nicely with the agave. I would definitely recommend 
getting agave for making margaritas, it, in my opinion, makes the nicest margarita in terms of what sweetener you use. Because you do have to remember, like, this is sweet. I know orange liqueur is also sweet, but I feel like this is maybe a bit sweeter, but it also has that kind of rich mouth feel, which... Mmm, really nicely kind of counterbalances the lime juice. Yes, a very nice, refreshing... Let me just move that so you can actually see it. Refreshing drink, ready for summer. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and if you did, please hit the subscribe and like buttons below. I will see you next week for something that does not involve corn liqueur, because it seems that that's all I make anymore. So I will see you next week. Thank you.